Hello, how do you like my new water income? I run it at the meeting of BCSEs and at the lottery. So today it's like a mishmash video. So I will show you what else bloomed from September until now, which I don't think I've have shown you before. And also some updates and what new uh, I've uh, added to my collection. So this uh, parodia, only the mother plant flowered. There are quite a few pups, but none of them had any buds. And now three astrophytums. So the first one, I think this one bloomed for the second round this season. And from updates, you may remember that some time ago I saw seeds of chocolate plant. Unfortunately, it died. I mean, something germinated, but it just wilted. So I still don't know what chocolate plant it would be. And back to Astrophytum. So this one I bought at the uh, Cacti at the Castle. It's supposed to have a pink flower. Unfortunately, it didn't open, so I couldn't see whether it was pink, pinkish indeed. And there was not enough sunshine, so also this flower didn't open fully. Now moving on to succulents. So we've got here Falcaria flowering and some of my Echeverias in the greenhouse are still in flowers. This one has got gorgeous vibrant red flowers. This is Echeveria uh, Black Knight. And you may remember that I bought quite a few free leaves which were unrooted cuttings. So I'm pleased to say all of them rooted nicely. And here you can see Gipteveria still in beautiful bloom. The same this uh, Echeveria or Viria Laui. And here something interesting. So the core here, the middle, was eaten by snail. And as you can see, this plant is bouncing back, producing some new leaves. So this is so amazing about succulents that they can survive even something like that and bounce back nicely. This freefia flowering for the second time this season. And finally, there's something going on with my leaf hops. So four of them, or maybe I get three of them are in flowers. And so not as many as in previous years and also all of them are yellow last year had one white and this year they flowered quite late because usually they start flowering for me uh, September but those they opened the flowers in mid-October flowering until now November and this fourth which has got a um, bud but it looks like it's kind of uh, stuck so we'll see whether it will develop any further. And I'm going to do like a short about this fourth leaf ops, which I bought at the garden center this year. So I don't know what color of the flower it will have. Aren't they gorgeous? Lovely. And now let's move on to my latest additions. So stay tuned because at the and you will see two more rare plants. So here we've got a three-headed Echeveria ebony with beautiful red margin on the leaves. And I bought more free leaves and bumpy plants. So with regards to those worthy or bumpy Echeverias, I've read that they store their water, so they don't need as often watering as other Echeverias and especially in winter the bumps are more visible are more prominent because obviously they, you don't water them anyway as uh, regularly as in the summer so uh, 
Yeah, so I add this one, foreign ball. This one is still young, so it doesn't have any bumps. But you may see here on this Heart's Delight, there are a few words <laughs> over there. Aren't they beautiful? I just, I just uh, also wanted to say that unfortunately some of my succulents, like many AUs, I didn't manage to rescue after last year freeze, if you remember. Now, those echidias that I'm showing you now, I don't have their IDs, so if you recognize any of them, please let me know in the comments. They are still small in pots, five, five centimeters. So now those two collectors if, uh, plants, if you like. The first one is Echidiria purposum white form. You can see this uh, variegation. It's a bit paler than regular purposum. I'm still not sure whether it is white form. Uh, and I read that it needs gritty potting mix and lots of light to retain its um, white discoloration. So we'll see if it will develop even whiter than that and finally i managed to buy variegated thanksgiving cactus so there are two cuttings one was rooted and one is not so fingers crossed they will do well for me and the mother plant has got beautiful flowers white with pink uh, edges Thank you for watching. Bye.